everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my travel makeup bag and recently I've been travelling to and from my house in Norfolk quite frequently and I've just found kind of a set of makeup that works really well because I can transition it from the daytime to the like evening meals and also it works going to the beach and just things like that so I'm going to share that with you today. So this is basically everything that I bring in my travel makeup bag. I've just set it all out and I do actually store it in Muji drawers. I bought the majority of my makeup in my Muji drawers this time because we were only travelling in the car it was really easy just to slip into a bag but usually I would have it in like a makeup bag so let's just get started. So I'm going to start off by showing you the nail varnishes that I bring and these are all actually from the Rita Ora collection by Rimmel and we have the first one which is actually called White Hot Love. We then have Pillow Talk and Breakfast in Bed and then I just have a top coat by Maybelline. And then moving on to my brushes, I don't actually bring that many brushes, although it may look like it, they all have a use. So I bring my Sigma Flat Kabuki for my powder foundation, and then the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just for my liquid foundations. I also bring my stippling brush, I just find this is really good to get a nice finish, and I can also use it for blusher, whether it be cream blush or like powder blush. And then I just bring some like eye brushes and powder brushes. So on top of the Muji drawers I just keep two of my Benefit brushes and I could not go anywhere without those. I use those for contouring, they're just perfect. And then my Real Techniques sponge because I use that pretty much every single day. And then I just have my other watch sat on top of there. So in the first drawer it's pretty much just face products. At the back I have my L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation and I also have the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless and the reason I bring those two foundations is because they can both be worn quite sheer in the daytime but they're both really nice and buildable so I can also wear them at night. And then I just have my Kiko powder foundation at the back there and I bring that because that's really easy to throw on really quickly. I then have my Bourjois Bronzing Primer my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, uh, my Rimmel Clay Complexion Powder, Bareness Blush by MAC, that's just really nice and natural, my Hoola Bronzer, a cream blush from Max Factor, and this is just in a really nice pinky colour. I then have some samples from Benefit, and th this is just their What's Up Highlighter. I also have the Posy Tint, High Beam, and Lolly Tint. And then I have Benefit Boing Concealer because this is hands down the best concealer for covering spots ever. And then I have my Sleek palette and this is just a really lovely palette. And then this second drawer is a bit more messy, it consists mainly of lips and eyes so I've got my Naked Basics palette, I don't travel anywhere without this. It's just got the perfect matte shades so I can create any makeup look. I then have three MAC lipsticks. The first one is Rebel and it's just a really nice purpley colour but it can also be worn in the daytime if you just sheer it out a little bit. I then have Ruby Woo which is just my go to red along with Hue which is just the perfect nude. Next I have my Naked 2 palette and I just think it's just a really nice palette for travelling because there's so many different colours you can create so many different looks and it's really really compact. Then I have my Holy Grail Mascara which is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Waterproof. I also have the Great Lash Mascara because I like this for my bottom lashes. I've got the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner Pen and this is so good for travelling because you don't need a brush in a pot and you literally just use this. Then I just have some Clear Brow Gel, this is actually from number 7. I also have my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. This is so good for travelling because it can be worn in the daytime and at night. And then I also have my 24 hour colour tattoo in On and On Bronze. This is just so good. You can wear this in the daytime on its own as well. And then I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And for my brows I just have the Rimmel Pencil in Sable along with the Natural Collection Powder Eyeshadow in Crushed Walnut. Then I've just got some lashes, these are the sultry ones from Primark and then I've got the Ardell Demi Wispies and then just some eyelash glue and lip balm. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I take in my travel makeup bag. If you have any suggestions of what I could swap out or there are ways that I could kind of condense it a bit more then definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you very very soon. Bye!